दिशा कुछ कहना चाहेंगी दिशा ऑल दैट इज रियल फील्स फार टू अन रियल In all the years that someone had asked me where I see myself in 5 years I would have never answered J but here I was Isha ko saath kare I kept asking myself what it felt like to be there at that particular moment in time but i came back with no answers i'd coerce myself into believing that the only way i would be able to live through this was by tricking myself into thinking that this wasn't happening to me The police did not knock on my door on 13 February 2021. They did not take my phone and laptop and arrest me. They did not present me at Patiala House Court. The media personnel were not trying to find a place inside the room. As I stood in that courtroom desperately searching for my lawyers, I came to terms with the fact that I would have to defend myself. I had no idea whether there was legal assistance available so when the judges asked me if I had anything to say I decided to speak my mind but before I knew it I was sent to 5 days in police custody It's no surprise that in the days that followed my autonomy was violated my photographs were splashed all over the news my actions were pronounced guilty not in the court of law but on flat screens by seekers of TRPs i sat there unaware of the many abstractions made of me in order to satiate their idea of me at the end of the 5 days i was shifted to judicial custody for 3 days in tihar i was aware of every second of every minute of every hour of every day logged in my cell i wondered when it became a crime to think the most basic elements of sustenance on this planet were as much mine as theirs why were millions paying the ultimate price for the greed of a few hundred their interest in the lives of those millions is dependent on whether or not they profit and even that interest has a short shelf life unfortunately so does humanity if we do not act in time to stop this endless consumption and endless greed we are inching closer to our own expiry i also realized during my time in custody that most people knew little or nothing about climate activism or climate justice my grandparents who are farmers indirectly birthed my climate activism i had to bear witness to how the water crisis affected them but my work was reduced to tree plantation drives and cleanups which are important but not the same as struggling for survival climate justice is about intersectional equity it is about being radically inclusive of all groups of people so that everyone has access to clean air food and water as a dear friend always says climate justice isn't just for the rich and the white It is a fight alongside those who are displaced, whose rivers have been poisoned, whose lands were stolen, who watch their houses get washed away every other season, and those who fight tirelessly for what are basic human rights. We fight alongside those actively silenced by the masses and portrayed as voiceless because it is easier for the savarnas to call them voiceless. We take the easy way out and fund saviorism rather than amplify the voices on the ground. The immense outpour of love from the people gave me strength. I am grateful for everyone who stood by me. The few days have been beyond painful. Yet I know I am one of the privileged. I was lucky enough to have excellent pro bono legal assistance. But what of all those who do not? What of all those still in jail whose stories are not marketable? What of the marginalized that are not worthy of your screen time? 
what of those who face the world's brazen indifference although their physical forms are trapped behind bars because of our collective silence their ideas continue to live on as will the united resistance of the people ideas do not die and truth no matter how long it takes always reveals itself we are threatened every day our voices crushed but we will continue to fight still fighting for climate justice